Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to have you here this evening. We have a special broadcast coming live from the studio. We're here to recap our 2020 stock market portfolio challenge. If you are joining us for the first time, I'm pleased to have you guys here. Just as a quick recap, this has been our year-long challenge where contestants have selected five companies at their choosing, starting from an initial portfolio balance of $100,000, split evenly across all five stocks. And the winner with the best performing portfolio is going to be walking away with a prize of $1,000 cold hard cash. Now, I'm extremely excited to announce that as one month left, as we have one month left in a crazy year of 2020, I say we get a little deep into this recap. We dive a little bit deeper than usual. And with that said, why don't we send it over to our analyst desk where they will give you the full breakdowns, the full details of where we stand in our contest today. Thanks, Brandon. My name's Jesse, and I'm here joined, as always, by my partner, Joseph. Thank you. And today, we're going to be getting into the top five performers in the 2020 Stock Market Challenge. So start with number one, Joseph. Starting us off tonight is Joshua Clayton with a huge portfolio of over $812,000. Now, taking the charge in this man's portfolio is Envax, a vaccine company. Not surprising there considering the, the current state of the world and the pandemic. Now, in second place in his portfolio, we have Apple. No surprise there. Big iPhone release this year. Huge gains. Over 58%. Now, Tesla. Tesla's always a big gainer for everybody. Over 528% gains through Tesla in this man's portfolio. In fourth place in this guy's portfolio, we have 3M, tape company. Everybody's using tape these days. Everybody's got injuries. You know how it goes. And finally, Costco. Who doesn't shop at Costco? Who doesn't have a Costco membership? This guy has a solid portfolio, and I am not surprised that he's in first place. You know what? You know what, Joe? Sometimes I buy my tape at Costco. So he's got some synergy going on with his portfolio as it is right now. And keep in mind, an $812,000 portfolio, each of these portfolios for each of these people that we're going to be going over started at $100,000. So we're seeing over 800, 8%? 800% increase, seven, Good math, eight Good times math. increase in portfolio growth for Joshua Clayton at number one. Now, at number two, coming in, we have Nareem, who... Who is who is sitting at a whopping six hundred ninety four thousand dollar current portfolio with his with his or her first stock pick? We have Microsoft opening up at a thirty four percent increase over the year. Second, we have Neovac Neovac Inc. ticker NVCN with a negative seventy four percent performance not over. A good pick. Not what, a good pick. What do you feel about that? What is your take on the NV? NVCN, negative 74% growth. You know what, Jesse? I think Nareem went for a vaccine pick. Actually, it looks like they may have gone for two, but this one didn't play out. And that's the way it goes sometimes. That's where the cookie crumbles. Some win, some lose. Nareem, maybe next time, keep that one out of your portfolio. Well, don't worry about that because... On the ter- on the, f- the 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 thing of vaccines, she also he also has Nvax, which just like Joshua is up that same almost two thousand nine hundred percent. So Big we got games. an overall great performance coming in with Roku and ONTX as well. Overall solid portfolio gains, and that's why they're in second place. And bringing us into third place, a very close third, albeit it's only a difference of about. $30,000, Brian Marshauser. Hold on a second. Yeah, math checks out. Yeah, not too bad. I'm Quick math. Now, Brian, portfolio of $651,000, $891 as well. Now, Brian has a very solid portfolio. There's actually nothing in the red for him. Kicking us off with Apple at 58% gains, huge gains, no surprises there. His next pick, though, VXRT, that's the ficker, ticker, VaxArt. Incorporated, an American biotech company, two point two two thousand percent gains in this guy's portfolio from this vaccine company. This is a good vaccine pick. It's looking like some hit, some don't, and the ones that hit are huge. So good pick, Brian. That was a solid pick. And in his third pick, uh, ticker DIS. I'm unfamiliar with it. One point six two percent gains. Not that important. Let's just brush over that. So beyond that, we have EN. 
NPH. That's the ticker Enphase Energy Incorporated. This is just an energy company based in California. Uh, 360% gains this year. That's huge. You know, that's huge. And, and that's really adding to that 2.2,000% portfolio gain from the vaccine pick. No surprise, this guy's in third place. And finally, he has AMD at a 91% gain. Most people would just drool at that alone, let alone putting that with his other picks. Brian, great picks. I wouldn't be surprised if you slid into second place there in this last month. And I bet he's hoping to slide a little further, maybe into first, but we still have a month to go. But these are our first, second, and third place in the current 2020 Stock Market Challenge standings. But, of course, before we get on to our and I'm just getting this now. We do actually have a very special interview queued up. But before we get into that, we're going to mention everybody's favorite, Tesla Ken. Tesla who's, Ken. Who's sitting at a solid fourth place at $628,515, holding stock number one, Tesla, which is up a big 528%. Stock number two, Tesla, which is at a big 528%. Stock number three, Tesla, which is at a big 528%. Stock number four, you could probably imagine, Tesla. Stock number five. Tesla. But wait, Jessa, Jesse, sorry. Did he go all in on Tesla? I mean, my glasses could be fogging, but I think he did. And that how's that paying off for him? Bold selection, but Ken, you're killing it out here. So is Tesla. I'm sure you're a big fan of Elon Musk. He'd be happy to hear that you're doing so well in the stock market challenge. Yes, sir. And with that being said, I'm just getting noticed now that we actually have brandon himself available for an interview so we're going to send it down to our on-floor correspondent smith S sanders to give brandon an interview and see what his thoughts are on his current performance in the stock market portfolio challenge off to you smith thanks joe thanks jesse Great analytics and math as always. You guys are the best in the game when it comes to this and I'm so happy to be able to work with you guys. But here we are now with Brandon. Now Brandon, you're currently sitting in 224th place. Uh, not doing too well. So, you know, as a veteran on the scene, someone who's been doing this for a long time, I just want to know, how does it feel to be in what appears to be an unrecoverable position this late in the game? It doesn't feel good. I mean, I can tell you that much and... Uh... I mean, I don't want to say it's hopeless. Uh, I mean, I know there's not a lot of time left, but sometimes that's just the way it goes. And you know, you gotta live with your picks. You gotta stand by them. And it's uh, it's unfortunate. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. But uh, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't feel good. I, I can tell you that much. Not surprised. And you know, going off of that, you went all in on oil and gas. You you really. This is not traditionally a a, a, a good way to build a portfolio. Um, what was your thinking behind that? You know, it was just, it was a, I, I had to take a chance is a simple way of putting it. You know, I thought I had a hunch about something and, you know, sometimes I guess it just didn't turn out to work out the way I wanted to. And it's just, I, I like I said, I got to live with it. Uh, I was hoping for a rebound. Clearly that wasn't the case, but um, yeah, I mean, I did my best and I'll be back again better next year. Like that's just, uh, you know, sometimes you get hit down hard. So you just got to bounce back up. Like that's just the way I was raised. Yeah. Oh, sure. But anyways, I mean... Only two out of your three picks are actually positive. In fact, your entire portfolio is down almost $33,000. So do you have any words for a new investor who would maybe want to you know, perform well in the market unlike you have tonight? Well, you know, it's uh, at this point, I'm not, I'm not feeling too... I don't feel like I have the words to say just at this very point. It clearly hasn't gone my way. And like I said, it's something I'm going to have to live with. And it's... Uh, it's, it's unfortunate, but like I said, I'll be back stronger next year. Let's hope so. So, yeah, I mean, so far, not so good. But, you know, you know, going forward, like what might you bring into the next challenge if you planned on, you know, performing better than you have this time? At this rate, I mean, with this type of interview, I'm not even thinking about doing a challenge next year. <laughs> I thought this would be, you know, people would give me the respect that I deserve for hosting a challenge like this. Uh I know there's a lot of money and prize money that's going to be dished out. And it's just, uh, it really makes me think about whether I want to do this next year with just the, the kind of things that I've been receiving. So, I mean, at this point, I just like, I just want to cut this interview short. 
Well, in that case, great interview with Brandon, the man himself. Uh, obviously, didn't perform too well, but that's okay. You know, that's that's the way the cookie crumbles, as the man said himself. But um, we're going to send it back to Brandon, who's going to close us off tonight. And I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. It's been a wonderful competition so far, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next one. Thank you, Smithy, for that awesome reporting. As always, you are one of our best interviewers on the team i am impressed time after time with your interviewing skills that just really gets me going anyways i want to say thank you guys all for tuning into this special broadcast episode this has been a phenomenal journey so far throughout the year and i cannot explain how excited i am to finish this final month of our challenge we are coming around the finishing turn we're coming around that last corner we see the the tape is up the finish line tape is up and in sight, and I see three people at the top of the leaderboard that have that in their dead lock sights, and they are sprinting at full speed, no regard for who's behind them. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this wonderful, special broadcast, I would say, hey, we appreciate you for tuning in. Here at the broadcast studio, I'll be checking us out for today, and uh, we'll check back at the end of the month, I should say, the end of the year, with our final results. Until then, I thank you guys so much. As always, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And if you are curious, we may have a stock market challenge in the next year, depending on how Brandon feels about it. We're going to have to discuss that with him because we're going to have to see how it goes. But uh, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next broadcast.